Welcome everybody to this new Beetle Tech Express. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get started by adding your actual Shopify website directly inside Instagram and Facebook, both of them inside just one tutorial. First of all, what you need to do is to have, of course, two things to open, your Shopify store and the second one to have a meta account. I'm going to leave you guys a link down below in the description just in case you don't have an actual website created by Shopify so you can have an actual huge deal to get started with. So now that you have claimed your Shopify store, just hit into sign in, create your account. Actually, it's going to be really, really easy. Just in case you have any question or you're having like any problem though, I'm going to leave you the link down below in the description of course for another video where you can be showing you step by step how to get started with Shopify. Now that we have here our Shopify already been opened, what we wanted to do is to open a new tab and go directly inside the Meta Business Suite. Now, Meta Business Suite is something that actually came that can help you to manage business activity on Facebook, Messenger, Instagram, everything in just one place. The reason why we want to be doing this is because it's going to be much more faster to add all our elements directly into just one place. So, if you have a Facebook account, it's going to be really, really easy. You're just stepped, you skipped an actual huge step. Let's go here and to get started. Now, of course, it's going to be sending me directly into the Meta Business Suit. As you should see, we do have an actual website where we can just uh, add here our elements, for example, connect an Instagram account or create a Facebook page. If you don't have any of those, you can always go here into the left hot, go for the actual all uh, toast, your page settings and create your account really, really easy. Once you have that, you can always claim it and create your business account. Now that I have my business account already linked up, what I do want to do is to now focus and to implement this directly inside Shopify. Next, let's add the Facebook inside the sales channel. So let's go back into Shopify. Inside Shopify, what you want to do is to go inside applications. And here, let's go for the upper side and tap the meta. Now the meta is an actual application account helping us to grant the access of all of the elements directly inside Facebook and Instagram. So let's click here. This would should be sending us directly inside the app store. So what you wanted to do is to go for install. You wanted to make sure of course before that, go and make sure this one is developed by meta and has a really strong rating because we wanted to install third parties that are not developed by meta. So now what we wanted to do is just to grant the access to the installation be completed inside Shopify. Now we have now moved on to connecting your Facebook account. Let's establish a connection with the actual Facebook. Now, first of all, what I wanted to do is to click the inside connect or in this case, get started. So let's go here for connect account. And now it's going to be asking us to sign inside our Facebook. Let's get into continue and automatically it's going to be showing us all the actual pages you do have available inside your actual Facebook. If you don't have an actual Facebook page, what you can do is to create a new one in order to continue. This one automatically should send us directly inside Facebook so we can start by adding an actual page. Now that I have an actual page here, uh, what I wanted to do is to go back into Shopify and select our new page. It's going to be asking you to connect a business account. Once again, if you don't have one, you, you can always click into create new business account and then you're actually good to go. Let's leave everything as it is and hit into save. Lastly, it's going to be asking you to connect a pixel track custom behavior. The same thing, you can create a meta pixel if you don't have one. Accept the terms and conditions and you are good to go. Let's hit into submit to review. Now, this is the last part. The last part to make sure that we are able to sell stuff directly inside Facebook shopping is of course to verify that your account, that you have an actual business account. It's gonna be asking you of course to grab all the information, personal information, information about your business, uh, verification, statements, taxes, all of that. So the process might be taking up to 48 hours to be accepted. And lastly, let's make sure that our Instagram is now been set up inside of Shopify. You should see now here into settings that we have the shipping settings and here into sales channel, I'm going to go in here into connect. Now it's going to be asking us to connect our Instagram account. The process is exactly the same. Just get into connect and you're actually good to go. And after that, what you wanted to do is to go back into the overview. And here is the part which you wanted to make the actual shop verification. The last part of everything. If I hit into continue verification, it's going to be asking me, of course, everything about my uh, account, about my business, about my organization, so we can start selling inside the commerce manager. 
After you've done that process, what you can do is, of course, to add all your products directly from Shopify inside the Commerce Manager, and then you're actually good to go. Now, this process is might be taking uh, up to 48 hours and might be taking a few times and we need to gather all the verification process for our business. That's the reason why I'm going to be stepping and just leave the tutorial for now in here. But the process actually, once again, is actually really simple. Just in case you have a question, you can leave it a comment down below. Check out the weeds needed to verify the business details, confirm the connection, upload accepted documents to confirm these details of our business is founded. And well, guys, there you have it. A great tutorial to so importing Facebook and uh, Instagram directly into Shopify, guys. So once again, uh, you have the link down below in the description of getting started here on the Shopify. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if this was a very useful video for you guys thank you for joining us today and well guys hopefully we can all see you next time